Hi, Gemini. Let's do your reading for the next seven days, shall we? This is a timeless reading, and yeah, you can watch this whenever you want. And it'll be applicable whenever it's applicable to you. I know it sounds kind of... <laughs> you know what a timeless reading is. I don't have to baby you through this. You're an intelligent sign. Three of Wands. What are you waiting for? You are all prim and proper and pure. You have been dragging yourself through things you don't want to go through. You've been waiting so long those dead sticks started to grow leaves on them. And you thought the potential was all gone. Baby, baby, baby. By this eclipse, if you don't stop waiting for whatever it is you're waiting for, it's going to bite you in the ass. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're like working yourself up, waiting for something. Oh, jeez. Queen of Swords. Well, the star at the bottom of the deck. Okay. You feel really impatient. Like, really impatient, fed up. You don't want to deal with it anymore. You don't care if you're covered in flowers. You don't care if you have a pony. You don't care if you're wielding Excalibur or that you have gorgeous long hair or that your body's banging. You don't care. You don't care that the entire ocean's in front of you, that you have this palace. You want what you want and you're waiting for it intently. Don't you know what they say about this? If you keep waiting and staring at the road, the road just gets longer and longer and longer. Like what you're waiting for will come to you if you stop waiting for it. Because the energetic vibration of wait tells the universe that you're not ready. And instead of getting irritated and frustrated at what it is that you want with this Knight of Swords energy, and then which turns into this jaded kind of Queen of Swords, like, I knew this would happen, blah, blah, blah. No, cut that shit out. You can't go from, you know, waiting and awing and ooing at the moon to picking up a sword and chasing down what it is you think you know or what it is you think you don't know. Don't be, don't be the, don't be the bitter bride. Oh, you feel so irritated. Honey, why? Who made my little Gemini mad? Who has abandoned you? Thank them. Because whoever has hurt you in this life really, truly loves you. Because in order to show you your wounds, you must be exposed. You already have what, what it is you've been manifesting. The stars at the bottom of the deck. You already have it. Just get yourself out of this... When is it going to be here? Why isn't it here yet? I'm probably not good enough for it. it. Maybe he's doing this. Maybe it's just the relationship's over. Maybe this or what if that. You know, no. You're better than that. You're better than that. The people in your life deserve better than that from you. You deserve better than that from you. You deserve better than spending your time in impatience. You are far too beautiful and handsome to to sit there and, and... What is this feeling? This impatient discontent. It's almost like you're waiting for, like, you're like, okay, in 60 seconds, if this person doesn't show up, I knew he wouldn't show up. Babe, you're like making it not show up. You're already dooming it before it even gets to you. Of course it's not going to get to you. 
and just relax yourself and, and breathe and enjoy this this the time of this recording in the next day or two it's going to be an eclipse and the energies of the eclipse last for the next six months or almost a year so be careful don't go into this energy into the next six months feeling impatient especially as an air sign regardless of what your other placements are you don't want to keep you know when you light an incense stick and the air doesn't move it just stays in one place and then it becomes so hard to breathe if you're constantly in the same energy it becomes really hard to breathe around you it's like chaos and static for people who who can who are connected to you and feel you so the advice to you is to really calm yourself to recenter yourself to stop waiting for whatever it is you're waiting for the sun will rise the stars will rise the moon will rise and all of them will set what you do in the meantime is what is important because it shapes you for who you're going to be and if you're spending your time in the present moment in discontent impatience frustration worry paranoia harshness coldness anger oh just ready to swing that sword for no reason just because it's not the way you want it don't do that honey be graceful be elegant be kind be gentle caress yourself bathe drink delicious drinks and I don't mean alcoholic drink some tea with milk in it drink some honey in warm water with ginger make some herbal mixtures of, of spearmint or peppermint and chamomile and rose petals and just really take care of yourself use the grace you've been gifted with to show the world the universe and yourself that you really really truly know your worth and you're not letting it become pride in the sense of arrogance what you want is coming but it will not come to you if you're going to be charging at it it will run from you and if you sit there discontent waiting with your crown sideways it won't come to you then then either what you've been manifesting what you've been asking for will come to you when you embody the energy of someone who is worthy of receiving that so if you want an empire girl you better be an empress if you want that then that queen you better act like a king if you sorry my phone's ringing if you really you know and if we turn this around and if this is someone in your life that you've been waiting for to communicate with and they're just kind of being silent they're going to communicate with you but be careful with your energy because if you're waiting impatiently for them to respond to you they're going to respond to you in a way that you don't want them to respond to you in if this is about a marriage there's a very light like it seemed like there could be the potential of conflict this week because you you want something the other person wants something else and in between you guys aren't really communicating in, with maturity so cut the bullshit out speak to each other as if you love each other and communicate from a place of grace not from a place of haste you can do this and you are worth what it is you desire but you must match the vibration and if you want a better life you're not going to get it by being a biatch and if someone is treating you like you're a bitch or if someone's being a total biatch to you handle it with dignity integrity and nobility
You know the truth, but the truth gets muddled within you when you get impatient and frustrated. Oh, my battery is running low. Okay, um, a card from the fairies. She. Now with these three cards here, the Three of Wands, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, what you want is coming for you and to you. And communication will be had this week that will... Don't be smug when this person calls you and talks to you. Don't sabotage it. Don't be cocky. Don't be arrogant. Be gentle, be warm, be, be emotional to a degree. Be grounded and stable. Visualize yourself in white feathers, in a white robe. Visualize yourself happy and smiling. And the card from the Fae is Blathas the Wild, which is pure fire energy. So right now you have the combination of air and fire, which is really combustible. And Luathas doesn't wait at all. There is no pause with this. Like he sees something and he goes for it over and over and over and over and over and over. Does not stop. And this combination, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Luathas, babe, be careful, slow down, watch your words. You have the potential to create a beautiful bonfire or burn everything you've been working towards down because of impatience. Oh, jeez. Okay, one more card from the deck I've made. So happy with it. <laughs> All right. Overall energy for this, please. Okay, so you get two. Ooh. Let's flip our card. And the bridge. Darling, if you're not careful, you can go backwards from where you came instead of going forwards to where you want to go. You want to go somewhere, you want to be somewhere, you want to cross the troubled waters and you want to go towards a better day. Don't do it like an asshole. You want to feel the love, you want to make memories, you want to experience the fiery passion, you want to do the things you want to do. But it seems like you keep banging your head against the same wall and no matter which way you go it's the same thing and it's just frustrating you. But if you just patiently wait a little while longer the waters that have been flowing, that have been tur turbulent, so much so that you've been avoiding the emotions and going into your head, will calm down. You simply must be in your center. Not in your pants, not in your head, not in the world, not in weight, but in knowing that this too shall pass and better days are already here and all you have to do is improve your energetic standpoint instead of going back and forth between the same thing change how you feel okay I wish you wellness my love be careful with your words this week be careful with your emotions you are in control of your own destiny, so steer your destiny with love and grace. It's all here for you, regardless of how many times you attempt to redo the same thing. If you just move forward, gently, everything you want is right there for you. And it's already coming for you and to you. She doesn't even need to reach for it. The butterfly is coming right to her. 
and that's the bird of the goddess. You're divinely guided, guarded, and protected. There is nothing to concern yourself with. You're simply coming out of a phase of being overly emotional that's caused you to become a little jaded in a way. Or people around you have been that way towards you. And they're only that way towards you because you've been exhibiting that energy too. So be on, on your toes this week with your emotions and your words. Don't let the trolls under the bridge get to you. They're everywhere. <laughs> I love you. Everything's going to be fine. As long as you know it. Bye.